Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna cover something a little bit different. This is something I have an interest in, which is science, and I think it relates to Star Wars and Star Trek. And I saw this in actually a TikTok video, and I kinda wanna elaborate on it. So there are different classifications of civilizations based on their energy use and technological advancement, which originates from the Kardashev scale developed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Karlashev in 1964. So here's a breakdown of the types that we're going to be talking about, and it's particularly types 2 and 3, and a comparison to Star Trek and Star Wars. Now, this isn't like a Star Trek is better or Star Wars is better kind of video, but rather just an interesting observation of, you know, because I find so many people say, well, Star Trek is so much more realistic and advanced than Star Wars. This will actually be able to dismantle that myth and that theory. So if anyone ever says something, you'll have this information to hopefully end a very good debate. So type two civilizations are described as what can harness and control the energy of an entire star like capturing the energy of the sun, not just using solar panels, for example. This implies technologies like the hypothetical Dyson sphere, which could encompass a star and capture its energy output. Now, the United Federation of Planets in Star Trek is close to a Type II civilization, where, while they haven't been shown to harness the entirety of a star's energy, they possess advanced energy technologies, such as antimatter reactors used in starships. They've also explored ideas like the Dyson sphere in episodes, However, they're not fully a Type II civilization since they haven't mastered all the energy of their star, but they're on the way. Now, a Type III civilization, which is about 100,000 years ahead of us, is much more advanced. They can control and manipulate the energy of its entire galaxy. This means not just harnessing the energy of stars like in Type II, but Type III can potentially control stellar formations, energy flows between stars, and much more. They would have a galactic presence with the capability to travel across and control vast portions of the galaxy. So how does this relate to Star Wars? Well, the Galactic Empire, for example, is a good representation of a Type Three civilization. They have a dominant presence throughout the galaxy. They can travel between star systems with ease using hyperspace lanes and have constructed super weapons like the Death Star, which can harness and focus energy to destroy <laughs> entire planets. Their technological and energy feats are indicative of a civilization that has substantial control over its galaxy. So in comparison, a Type II civilization like the one nearing in Star Trek is planetary and system-wide, capable of significant feats within its solar system and possibly its nearby stellar neighborhood. They're progressing and exploring, but their influence is somewhat localized. A Type III civilization, as represented by the Galactic Empire in Star Wars, is on another level entirely. Like, this isn't even within the scale of Type II. Their reach is galactic, their technologies are mind-boggling, and their ability to influence or change the core of the galaxy is unparalleled. It's essential to note that the Kardashev scale is a hypothetical framework while it offers a way to think about the progress of civilizations based on energy and technological advancement, our current understanding of the universe is still expanding and the ways in which civilizations might evolve can be vastly diverse and very complex. That's the essential breakdown and explanation of type 2 and type 3. Now type 1 is pretty much just like being able to control the weather and like earthquakes and volcanoes and stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's still kind of cool, but at the same time, it's, you know, it's not type two or type three, which is Star Wars. So that is the sort of difference between Star Trek and Star Wars when it comes to advancement. Now, I'm sure there are eras in Star Trek where, you know, some of the Trekkies out there, maybe in the comments who are possibly angry, I don't know, I hope not, are able to kind of tell us, say, you know, maybe there are some actual scenarios or, I don't know, dimensions, which are, you know, type three or... <laughs> beyond perhaps in which of course you guys can debate and let me know down below thanks so much for watching today's video i'll catch you all in the next one